Hi everyone, welcome to GoFries and in this video we'll have a comparison between the Vega 56 and the RX 5700. Both of them are currently priced very similarly at the RM1400 price point over in Malaysia. Yes, around RM1400 is affordable. So which one should you get? If you have a Vega 56 already, should you upgrade to the RX 5700? This comparison compares these two cards in Full HD on a few AAA titles and at the last minute, I've decided to add in an RTX 2060, which is the Zotac RTX 2060 Amp Edition. Now the RX 2060 here, the pricing is on some models like this one, it's priced higher than the, the AMD cards, but there are some models priced lower. So um, we're not going to go into that, but it would be good to know the performance be between these three cards on full HD resolution. And here's yes, the TLDR. I I've, if um, you own an RTX 2060 card, you can skip the RX 5700. And if you own the Vega 56, you can skip the 5700 as well. With some tuning, you could possibly get the Vega 56 to the performance of the RX 5700. For more info on how to tweak your Vega 56, you can head over to two very good AMD related Facebook groups of which I'll provide the link in the description. Now moving on to the benchmarks, you see that the RTX 2060 has an edge over the Vega 56 card. But keep in mind that this is at 1080p gaming. Refer to my other video for the comparison at 1440p where you'll see that the Vega 56 has an edge over the RTX 2060. So these are the six games that I've tested and you'll see the charts first. And after that, there'll be a side-by-side -side video recording of the benchmark running. Enjoy the video and do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. There's more content like this coming and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.